Well, some contracted nurses at a Westlake District convalescent hospital say they've had enough. They're on strike, claiming the owner isn't paying the agency that hired them. KCAL 9's Candace Crone is live at the hospital where we're learning the contractor, Candace, is paying the nurses out of her own pocket. That's right, about a handful of nurses picketed right in front of the Grand Park Convalescent Hospital earlier today. Now, they support the staffing agency that got them hired here and say the nursing home needs to do the right thing and pay up. Nurses are working for free! We're taking care of their patients. You know, this is stealing labor. This small group of nurses had a powerful message for the administrators at the Grand Park Convalescent Hospital. They held a strike outside the nursing home on 8th and Grandview, accusing the facility of not paying the staffing agency they work for. They're not paying me. I've been paying all of my staff out of my own pocket, and now I am not going to be able to pay my own mortgage. And I have a five year old daughter, and they owe almost $80,000. Carla Coleman runs Golden Sunrise Healthcare, which placed five nurses at the convalescent home over the last year. She said the owner stopped making regular payments around June and owes her tens of thousands of dollars she paid out of pocket to make sure her employees and families could eat. The fact that we're getting treated like this, we are underpaid, understaffed, overworked, 16 hour double, double shifts, over 60 hours a week. And the fact that I'm not getting paid, it's just, it, it's wrong. At this point, it's ridiculous. I shouldn't have to be out here picketing with my boss for them to give us money that we worked hard for. It doesn't make any sense. We tried, but no one at the facility would come out to answer questions. The nursing shortage has been a problem nationwide. There's 126,000 openings for nurses in the United States. Bill Padula is a professor at USC School of Pharmacy. He says the issue of staffing has gotten worse since the pandemic. He says while recent wage increases are a plus for nurses. That, however, places facilities in a crunch because they have to pay for this wage increase, and so they might be able to afford to apply these wage increases to their current nursing staff, but they're not going to be able to hire more nursing staff. Now, I also tried a couple of phone numbers I'm hoping to reach out to the owner, but we did not hear back. I should also mention that Coleman plans to take legal action in the hope of getting the money she's owed. We're live in the Westlake District. Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Back to you. Candace, thank you so much.